away from starting the official Shred the Mic live stream podcast. Whoa! And, I guess we uh, could tell them why we call it Shred the Mic. Yeah, absolutely. Kel, go for it. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, if you know me, you know that I'm from Tahoe and I grew up skiing. And uh, one of our favorite things to say on a powder day is Shred the Gnar. Um, and Zeke is a surfer and a snowboarder. Uh, and the language translates across snow and ocean <laughs> sports. You're always shredding gnar. So we decided we would just shred the mic and um, see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we started doing some live shows uh, for other comedians in this, like, tail end of the pandemic. And mm -hmm. uh, then we just had this idea to, you know, let's go ahead and actually hey, do Jay. this, uh, you know, with other people. Yeah. Cool. Hell, it is six o'clock. You know what that well, means, right? Time to shred the it's mic. It's time to shred that mic. Woo! Uh, we haven't worked guys, that out yet. <laughs> no, we haven't. This is, this is very, we came up with this idea, you know, a while ago, and it really sort of became a thing as of yesterday when I was like, Kelly, we should do this. What's the, what's the lowest barrier to entry? And we tried a bunch of different platforms to make it work, and it turns out Instagram Live is the easiest and best way to do it. So yeah. hence why we're doing this right now. Uh, so Shred the Mic, guys, is a weekly podcast live stream where two comedians, Kelly Shanley, Zeke Rodriguez Thomas, uh, are, we're two <laughs> comedians who are going to be going through our notes and trying to figure out, is that a thing? Is that a premise? We're going to have five minutes each to go through the notes in our phone uh, that we came up with over the course of the week and hopefully trying to make each other laugh and hopefully try to make you guys laugh as well please uh i don't know if they have a heart button anymore i know we definitely i think they have a heart button uh but yeah your comments please feel free to comment away when you connect with one of the premises or jokes that we have going on um kelly would you like to tell everybody a little bit about your background as a stand-up uh sure i've been doing who stand -up. who are you kelly <laughs> Does anybody know? Um, no, uh, I'm Kelly Shanley, and I'm from Tahoe. I've been in L.A. since 2008. Uh, I came here to be an actor, ended up doing stand-up, um, and turns out I really love stand-up. So I've been doing it for seven and seven years now. I started in 2015. And, um, yeah, I just, I just want to write more and perform more and be funny. That's all. That's what it's all That's about, right? <laughs> no, not yeah. at all. Not at all. Yeah. Uh, guys, I'm, I'm Zeke Rodriguez Thomas. I'm, uh, I'm from Los Angeles, originally from Hermosa Beach. Uh, I've spent probably, I don't know, 15, almost 20 years doing improv and sketch in Los Angeles at the LA Connection and various other places across the city. And I finally decided over the course of the pandemic, I made some changes and was just like, you know what? Uh, I need to put myself front and center and try something completely new that I might just suck at. Uh, so that's why we're here. I've only been doing stand-up for, what, one month exactly? Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> I did my first real yeah. official, official show uh, at here. Flappers. Yeah, not all that long ago. What up, Bergs? Yeah, <laughs> see, LA Connection is in the house. The alumni network goes deep. Uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, so that's the backstory on me. And so we're coming at this from two slightly different perspectives. Kelly's obviously been doing this a lot longer than I have. And with me, I'm brand new to it, but we're documenting the journey. We're trying to develop new material and we're trying to see what you guys connect with. And hopefully uh, some of these bits that you guys hear every single week, hopefully one of them <laughs> or many of them end up in two fully developed bits on stage and eventually a special. Eh? Eh? Yes. Eh? Yes. Let's hope so. Yeah. Let's hope so. Uh, all right. Well, so Kel, do you want to go first? Shall, shall we put you on the clock? Do you want to go through uh, through your notes? I would love to. All Let's right. do it. Yeah. Here um, we go. Yeah. Start the clock. I do want to reiterate. These are like raw. Okay. These are not rehearsed or practiced. So, you know, they're not all going to be winners, but um, we'll just <laughs> see how it goes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right, Kel, you're... Get ready to shred the mic in three, two, one, go. Shredding. Okay. So um, I realized something the other day. Like, if you've ever traveled to Europe, the first time you hear sirens there, it can be very jarring, you know, because they're like, uh, uh, 
and I realized it's because sirens in America kind of just sound like drunk college girls, you know? <laughs> They're just like, woo! <laughs> and then, like, the ambulance joins in, and it's like, wee! And then they all just show up to the club, like, wee! like a party um yeah and then let's see i have they meet up everything's fun but then the cops get there late and they're a total buzzkill just like wah, 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 wah. yeah that's that's where I that is that. right now <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so um listen sirens. i love a good act out hell yeah keep going let's do it thank you thank you uh all right we're gonna get we're gonna get personal so um i don't know if any of you guys over 30 have this problem but um <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes when I'm having sex, my hip pops or sort of like cramps up and my hip flexors just give up and I have to make my boyfriend Zeke stop. And he's such a gentleman, but, um, I just have to stretch and then we can resume. So my sister is a physical therapist and pretty much every time I see her, I'm like, Laurel, my knee hurts. Can you look at it? Or like, Laurel, my neck's jacked. Like, you know, she's used to it. And we were all on vacation in Jackson Hole and I was like, Laurel, uh, my hip flexor has really been bothering me. Would you be able to work on it? She was like, sure. Um, and then, so in the evening when we all, and by we, I mean me, Zeke, Laurel, my mom and my mom's boyfriend, Jordan, we're all um, watching the Olympics, hanging out. Laurel goes, oh, Kelly, why don't I work on your hip now? It's like, cool. So she asked the standard questions. She's like, so are there any like activities or specific motions that make it act up where you notice it the most? And I was like, um, and, um, Zeke froze. I froze. <laughs> we didn't look at each other, but we did not look at each other. And then Laurel's like, okay, uh-huh. Got it. Got it. She was like, and I, but I wanted to help her out. So I was like, uh, specifically, I guess, happy baby. <laughs> <laughs> we all cracked up. Uh, and then my mom just goes, wait, what, what did I miss? And we were like, oh, thank God. So yeah, um, I was, I, I, I'll chime in. I don't want to take up any more of your time, but like, I just was just like, Barb, we're good. Don't listen. Don't listen. Please stop listening right now. <laughs> yeah, we did not recap for her yeah, at yeah. that time. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah, um, Jordan was giggling because I'd given him an edible earlier. So that was, that was a fun addition to the story. <laughs> <laughs> happy 420, everybody. Yeah, happy 420. Okay. You got two, two um, minutes, go. Two minutes, two minutes. All right. This is what I wrote down. I trust my intuition. And by intuition, I mean my pussy. Uh, you know how some people are like, my dog is an excellent judge of character. Um, so if he doesn't like you, <laughs> you know, it's like that. Um, you know, so if, you know, she doesn't want you getting close to her, if she snaps at you or just like hunkers down, you know, not good signs, right? good signs that, you know, uh, maybe she lets you sniff her, you know, uh, she, <laughs> she rolls over and assumes a submissive position. <laughs> she wags her tail. Um, she drools at the mouth, you know, that's how you know <laughs> you're a really good person. Um, points okay. Kelly, points Thank Kelly, you. everybody. Let's see those hearts come in. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. Also completely separate. Um, One you, know when you're at a, you know, when you're at a wedding and the DJ is not the best and you say out loud, okay, the next good song they play, I'm going to dance. <sighs> that is as big of a curse statement as when you're surfing and you say one more wave and we're done. You're never going to go to a good song and you're never going to get a wave. It's not going to happen. Um, okay. Let's see. You got 30, <laughs> 30 seconds, Cal. What, ah, you got? Okay. what do you got? Here you go. Okay. We watched this documentary called 14 Peaks the other day, and it was about mountaineering. And this guy literally climbs 14 peaks that are over the elevation of 8,000 meters. I was like, you know what? I have no desire to do that. Anything over 8,000 meters is called the death zone. I have no desire to go to the death zone. Because guess what? You don't have to do anything dramatic to die in the death zone. All you have to do is stand still. Just literally stop moving and you die. No, thanks. I'm good. <laughs> Three, two, one. And that's your time, Kelly Shanley. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. What, can, uh... we, can we look at, com oh, there they are. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, I, uh, yeah, I think there is some, some great stuff in the, uh, in the ambulance, uh, audio stuff right there. I love that. Thank I think you. that's going to be such a dope bit once it gets crafted thank out. Thank you. Yeah, oh, there we go. God. There we go. Thank now you, the God. light's starting to pour in. I'm like Tinkerbell. <laughs> I need applause to live. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you. I, I did enjoy the, uh, the dog pussy analogy. That was good. <laughs> did not, did not see that one coming. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> see, yeah. Seeing all those hearts coming in right now. So apparently I'm not the only one. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, nice. um, I'm trying to think. Yeah. Those were the ones that I, that jumped out to me that I think are definitely totally worth developing. So hell yeah. Cool. Nice job. Cool. Thank you. Um, okay. Now, uh, if anyone else has specific notes, feel free to type them in there. We're going to look at all of them later, too. <clears throat> if we see them come in right now, well, thank you. Um, we will talk about them. But also, keep those comments coming. I'm going to start my timer. When you are ready, Ziki Chomas, uh, what, do I do need it. to intro you? Coming up Not next. It. Come on next to shred the mic. Give it up for Zeke Rodriguez Chamas. Ah, oh, thank you very much, everybody. Poha carayo. It's so good uh, to be here on the on the mikey as I uh, already burned through way too much time. All right, guys. So uh, notes from this week. Again, very rough material. Let's see what we got. Uh, so notes, jokes that I am not going to do. Uh, one about KRS-One. I, we were watching something and I made a reference to KRS one and Kelly was like, what the hell is KRS one? <laughs> uh, she was like, it sounds like a product Kodak made in the seventies. And I was like, Holy shit. It totally does. There's a very good chance that that's what it's based off of. Many rappers names are based off of other things. I, uh, I once saw a, a rapper in Boston named VCR and like, <laughs> He was actually really good, but he opened for De La Soul, and I've, like, never forgot his name because it's VCR. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't know if there's anything there. Next one I have in my phone is my grandma, uh, who's no longer with us, uh, is the voice of my insecurities. Uh, <laughs> just because <laughs> I just – anytime something – goes poorly in my life. I just hear her, her very quiet Brazilian voice go, Ziki, perhaps if you try harder, you might make better choices or something along those lines. Uh, but it's always so sweet and so like uh, coming from the old country uh, of Brazil with vaguely uh, Italian influence um, <laughs> and pearls of wisdom that make no sense other than to just take me down a peg. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, anytime I, I have any insecurities in my life, I just immediately, it, they just come through, not in some like horrible, like, come on, Zeke, you could do better, like football coach voice. It's always just the voice of my very sweet, very dead grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Maria Carmen Goncalves. Oh. Buy nothing groups. Am I back? Somebody tried to call me, of course, during a live stream. I love that. Uh, buy nothing <laughs> groups. So um, I don't know if you guys have had the opportunity to be on Facebook and be a part of a local buy nothing group. Um, I didn't know what to expect, but I always love the concept where it's like local giving to, in the neighborhood level. Right. And I was hearing these great stories of people giving away many great things like uh, giving away washer, working washers and dryers, skateboards, uh, scooters right out of the, out of the gate. And then I looked at our local Santa Monica buy nothing group and it sucks. <laughs> and, and here's why uh, the number of people that have posted expired food, uh, Yesterday, someone posted mm -hmm. ketchup packets, a collection of ketchup packets on a buy nothing group. Uh, and I just could not believe some of the things that were in there. Uh, used shoes, question mark. Uh, <laughs> you know, things that you're just sort of like, eh, it's not technically trash, but I don't know if it's any good. Uh, and then one of my dear friends who does live in Playa Vista, she constantly sends me screenshots of all these high-end electronics 
<laughs> sporting equipment, brand new. Uh, I would be surprised if somebody wasn't giving away a Honda Civic on there or something like equally as good. But I, it's so neighborhood specific that uh, I'm just curious to see what uh, Venice would look like. You know, like, is it just going to be, you know, slightly used hypodermic needles? <laughs> I lived in Venice for too long. I'm allowed to make that joke. Uh, and I'm also sober, so it's all right. But the good news is they already do have alley pickup, so it does. So it does. One count. minute. You got one <laughs> minute right. left. Uh, I got some jokes here that, uh, or some premises that I'm not sure if they're even jokes, but that's okay. Uh, I have old folks home, and we'll call it Thoracic Park. <laughs> I think there's a, like a boob joke in there somewhere. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm I'm still I'm still fishing around. I may have to visit that one later offline. Uh, lastly, uh, I have this idea: Why aren't we having bread parties lately? Like we Ooh. love bread, and why don't we all just have a party where everybody shows up with different forms of bread? I'm in. It's it's more of a political statement than it is a bit at this point. Uh, <laughs> it's it's just like I think this is the the platform that I'm going to run on, and that's that's pretty much my time right there. <laughs> wow, you got five <laughs> seconds left. Nice job. Yes, thank, nice you so thank you so much. Thank you for this incredibly it. underdeveloped uh, notes in my phone, everybody. All right, I'll stop sweating it. here in a second. I uh, love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, if you have. Thoughts, feelings, opinions. Thank you for all the hearts. Yes. Put them in the comments, Sprouted Grain. That's good. Yes, Joanna's all you, about Joanne. bread. I know she she's all, all about bread. that bread life. She'd be a great person to consult with on the bread joke. Um, yeah. Let's see. I laughed at the KRS one joke, and not just because I said it, but I thought when you went to, um, <clears throat> there was another rapper called VCR. You could be like, and then my girlfriend was like, what the hell's a VCR? And you're like, I'm just kidding. She's not that young or something about something a tag there yeah on me also not knowing what a vcr is but <laughs> you know also when you were talking about your grandma um and you said she sounded like she's from the old country i literally thought which old country because i know <laughs> i know but it sounded so italian and then you said it so that was hilarious <laughs> like you read my I mind I just want to stop and go back to Sarah Luca's uh, comment that uh, check out Kelly and how fire she looks. So there you go. Um, thank you. Maxim, thank you. thank you. VCR having a beef with a little Blu-ray underrated drama. Hell yeah. See, I love oh, it when nice. you guys are punching up the jokes, everybody. I love that. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Erica. Yeah, yeah. Erica, my sister's in the house. You missed my great <laughs> impression of grandma. Uh, so sorry. <laughs> You'll have to go back and watch the live stream. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> And I thought when you said they were like pearls of wisdom, but but savage or something, mm. you could call them daggers of wisdom. Daggers. Or something like that. Yes. Daggers. Oh, daggers great. of wisdom. I don't know. Play with it. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. he just, Maxim just mentioned Thoracic Park. I mean, you guys saw how loud I laughed. Sorry if that hurt your ears. <laughs> Maybe it could be like a physical therapy for geriatrics, what? and it's Ooh. called. Welcome Thoracic Park. to Thoracic Park. Ooh. <laughs> there's something there. Okay. There's something there. There's a spine yeah, yeah. there's a spine joke in there, you know. You can find it. Definitely, definitely. Haven't yeah. found it yet, but uh guys, all your feedback is very helpful. Thank you for yeah. taking the time to comment. Yeah. Uh, Are we gonna be able to read this in afterwards? Uh their comments afterwards or do those disappear? I'm very Question? I hey <laughs> I don't remember. It's been a while since I've uh, I've hosted a live stream, and the last time I did it was uh, was for Dynamics A4 during the pandemic, and I was working out as I was hosting a live stream, <laughs> just oh. basically dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it nice. was great. But uh, so yeah, I think that's uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so here's the do uh, the the deal, guys. Uh, this is our show. We're going to be doing this every Wednesday at six o'clock West coast time. And, um, you know, you can find the replays here on Instagram for the next 24 hours. And then we're going to be uploading to YouTube and maybe doing some carve outs with some of our uh, better pieces of material that you might see on some of our stories and all that other good stuff. Uh, let's see, Kel, where can people find you on the internet? Um, well, you found me on Instagram. I have the same handle. Is it called a handle on That's TikTok? That's what the kids call it. I'm I am brand new on TikTok, and I am learning at a moderate pace. I'll put it that way. But I'm also Kelly A. Shanley on TikTok, 
and um, on YouTube, they have shorts now, which are basically like reels and TikToks. So find me on YouTube. That's just Kelly Shanley, just, just the name. Um, follow me on there. And then there's going to be bonus content with longer videos and stuff on YouTube coming up soon. Oh, and Medium. If you haven't read my stuff on Medium, um, same thing, just search my name. And I have a dating column. I have stories about David Attenborough narrating a drunk woman coming home. It's, it's gold. Just if you want to read something instead of watching something, head over to my Medium page. <laughs> there's, a, there's a couple of readers in our live stream audience, so uh, they, they might nice. actually follow up and do that. Nice. Uh, but yeah, definitely uh, check it out, guys. Uh, she's had a bunch of posts recently go semi-viral on TikTok, which is nice uh, to sort of see some crazy numbers go up, which is nice based off her stand-up. Uh, and of course, you guys can find me on the internet at Zeke Thomas is Rad. You guys obviously found me here. Uh, you can find me on TikTok, Zeke Thomas is Rad, YouTube, Zeke Thomas, <laughs> I think. Uh, I think it's Zeke I, Rodriguez Thomas. Oh, I might be Zeke Rodriguez Thomas on uh, yeah. YouTube where I've definitely been doubling down on YouTube shorts, but apparently YouTube shorts only wants me to post surfing videos and has nothing to do with stand up. It, it literally punches me in the face. Anytime I po try to post a stand up clip, it's ridiculous. It does. Yeah. Oh, and Berg's just said, watch our 420 video. If head over to my YouTube, happy 420, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you want to see a video that we made in 2016 about 420, <laughs> yeah, it's a gem. <laughs> It is. Uh, of course, you can always go to ZekeThomas.com for all your Zeke Thomas needs that aren't part of the social medias. And uh, there is a slight preview at Patreon.com slash Zeke Thomas is rad. Uh, mm. I have some exciting news coming up there with some new rewards and perks. Uh, if you're interested in supporting both this venture and also the world of stand up as we sort of uh, go into this brave new world. But yeah, going back onto Patreon would love your support. And Kelly, is there anything else? Is it time to wrap this up? I have one more plug. I'm going to do one early, yeah. early plug. Do so it. for my birthday, which is June 10th, I am, Zeke is helping me produce the show at, it's probably at Flappers right now. All I want for my birthday get together is for you guys to come. I'm going to do a 20 minute set. So it's not booked yet. I'm going to put details out as soon as I have them, but all I want for my birthday is for you to come laugh at my jokes. Okay. So um, stay tuned for that. Okay. There you go. We're, <laughs> we're calling our shot before the show is even booked. We're already yes. plugging it. See, that's, I'm, that's I'm what manifesting. I like. That's what I like. That's a good producer right there. Flappers yeah. is in Burbank. Yes, Casey. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yes. Uh,